person putting the sling underneath the butt is leader one on the down on the on the underwater yeah. side, and then on the top side, one of the lifters. That's yep. it. For the head. All right, on your count. Uh, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, one, two, three. Oh, I'm sorry. We're gonna do shallow dives today. You may not know exactly how much um, weight you need and all that, so we're just gonna start nice and slowly and smooth. Adam, he's my student. We're gonna be working with these two buddies right here. Uh, so the way I wanna do this is, first of all, I'll get in the water first, and then you guys will position Adam back at the back of the boat, get him uh, ready to go, and when I signal that I'm ready, we're going to go ahead and, and push him in the water. That's pretty much that. Yes. The way I generally talk about it, I'm, I'm like a flashlight with, with weak batteries. You turn it on and you can watch and dim. So that's me at regular in the morning. Wake up, boom, I can walk around, I can think, I can talk. And then you slowly just, you kind of get, just peers off and you know, by mid afternoon, I'm done. Well, thank you all for coming down and helping out with uh, being our boat leader. Uh, or quartermaster or adaptive, diver, adaptive uh, instructor. instructor so thank you the guys on the boat this needs to be taught and this needs to be at the back of the head if it's higher they're not going to have enough room especially with the bigger guys to get it underneath and you want it to be like it coddling I heard a definition the other day that the word meek has nothing to do with weak meek is about harnessing your own power and doing it for somebody else so I would say dive pirates is a meek organization because the people that come, we almost demand it of them. We don't say it outright, but if you're gonna be here and do these things for these other people, this is what we expect. If we set that expectation, pe people love it and they're drawn to it. Okay, ready? I was in uh, the hospital, hospitalized for six months, uh, about six months straight uh, in 2021. Basically my immune system turned on me and started shredding all of my nerves. Um, so um, slowly kind of started adding, first it was tingling in the hands and, and feet, didn't really notice it too much, just kind of irritated, just had a lot going on with work, full-time work, quotas and stuff like that. And I went right to the emergency room, put into a coma, turned into be a, about a week. And then I woke up and uh, completely paralyzed. There was no, when I say paralyzed, it, it was no, there was no feel. Not only was I not moving, there was no feeling anywhere. Like maybe my eyes or, it, it was the strangest feeling ever. It's one of those things where it's the more I do, the more it, it could be too much. That's why it's, it's good to have just a support system. It's just, a, it's a rare illness, but when it happens, the, the people that know about it know, know how severe it can be. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2009. So MS literally is different for every single person that's got it. Um, personally, myself, I have uh, 
Uh, I've got drop foot on my left side, so as I'm walking, I've got my one foot will drag behind me. I mean, I can take a taser and actually zap my legs with a taser and it feels like a bee sting. Um, so either I use a cane or a walker. Um, today I'm using a power chair because it's hot. Heat for me is huge. Um, I can do normally up to, if it's dry, I can do 80 or so degrees and I'm pretty good for the afternoon. But if it gets hot and humid, I'm good for minutes. Do two dives today, or is it just see how he feels? He's got the goal to just go once and then see. Oh, yeah. I think he's not really... Baby steps. You know? Yeah, yeah, and then obviously if he feels better, so, but he won't know until he does the first dive yeah. how he feels. So when he said he needed a dive buddy, it kind of was that quick snapshot back to the army where we're like battle buddies, and he's like, I need you. And I was like, Roger, I got you. I didn't realize what I was signing up for, but, um, <laughs> but I said yes, and so here I am. <laughs> You know, a lot of the buddies are family members or they're really close personal friends. They have that emotional attachment. They want to see something good happen for that person that was either born with disease or wounded somehow. The buddies put in a lot more work, to tell you the truth. The buddy has to become open water trained, then rescue trained, then get an advanced certification, and then learn the buddy training, which is very specific. Do you want to hang on to this or you want me to hand it to you when you're in there? Uh, you can handle it. When Drew and I first met, I was going through my own challenges and my own PTSD and didn't want to live. I had my own kind of struggles. Um, so when he asked for me to be his battle buddy or his dive buddy for this trip, I just said yes. And it's been really challenging. Like the certification was not easy for me. Um, and I, I wondered if I could be a good dive buddy. I don't know, it just comes back to the military of just like consistently like showing up and, and pushing each other to be the best versions of ourselves, whatever that looks like, because trauma is trauma. Ready? When you are. How do you want me? Uh, like this? Oh, I wasn't supposed to grab off of that. That one gave away. Yeah, clip on in. Okay, then you buckle. Who's receiving, Drew? Hey, we still got Yeah, pop your mask on, mate. Drew, this is what we're going to do here, bud. Your air is on, all right? Okay. I want you to jam some air into your BCD so you can float when you fall on in. So, the Z. You're going to give me a count through your egg, and all you're going to do is just make yourself look like the shape of a prawn. Like you're going to go straight underneath the transom, okay? So I'm going to give you a roll on three. All right, sound good? Tuck your chin and go. Okay, it's your count, yeah? Huh? Three. Okay, Marlene. Diving is a team sport in that you get on a boat, but it's individual in where you do the accomplishments and get ahead. You have an MS, your, your attitude has a lot to do with it because it's real easy to be, my body sucks, I'm depressed and, and pity party on the, on the, go sit on the couch and I can't do that. I've never, I've always been very positive. And so if there's something I can't, if I can't do it the way I did it, I'm gonna find a way that I can do it. I saw the big fish at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that was good. It's getting easier. <laughs> it started out kind of nerve-wracking, but I feel like we're kind of finding a battle rhythm, um, which is good because then everybody's getting more confident, which makes it more enjoyable. <laughs> Still got to fine-tune my buoyancy a bit, but I'm slowly, slowly picking this up. This is great.
We've had uh, multiple sclerosis, cerebral palsy, quadriplegia. We've had people with uh, paraplegia. Uh, my spinal cord is uh, degenerating. I've got a total of nine discs uh, currently degenerating. Adhesive arachnoiditis. It's very rare. Doctors have no idea how to treat me. <laughs> I had an aneurysm, so it bubbled out. Pushed the front wall interior against the back wall interior and cut off the blood supply to my spinal cord. And that part of the spinal cord died, and I lost the movement ability of my legs. It caused the paralysis, caused us some pain. You can barely, you know, walk a quarter of a mile, and your spine just starts hurting, and you know, the flare up with the sciatica and the lower back pain. I had a couple of major surgeries: one to save my life, and the second one to patch things together to make it my capable of being able to do things like this. A, a little bit of everything. I'm sure there's things we haven't done, but in 20 years, we've done just about all of it. Why have I waited so long to try to do this? I've got uh, some major spinal cord degeneration going on and uh, the, uh, the pain's gone. No pain, so it'll be pain-free all afternoon. I'm colorblind. That is the most vivid colors I've ever seen in my entire life. That was amazing. The best thing about it is all pain goes away. And that's, I get back pain, neck pain, everything, and it just disappears. I wish you could stay longer. I wish there was a way to make it more comfortable and stay longer, because like I said, the pain goes away, but it's just freeing. When they're floating like that, they're pain free. They all tell us that. So they're pain free, and they can do something everybody else can do without any help. How's the story end? I think we all have an ending, we know that, but I'd like to see this not end. I would like to see this keep going. You know, it's up to us to train that next crew and keep the crew going. But I'd be very happy if this ended in 20 years, we've done a lot of good. If this ended in 100 years, we've done even more good. You know, will it be able to do that? I don't know. We'll be scuba diving in 100 years. Uh, who knows, we may have our own gills and not have to do that. But, you know, whatever technology takes us, we still get to take these people and go do that kind of stuff. So I would hope it never ends.